when you're putting up a building, we like to see the building come up. But, but not many times do we like oh, the yes. foundation because oh, yes. you're going down. Mm. And discipline is a foundation. Yes. You see, people mistake uh, passion mm -hmm. and discipline. Yes. They are, they are different. They are both that, important, yes. but they are different. And sometimes the difference between the two of them is yes. actually timing. Yes. And I like what you said because I have come to learn from that, mm. that uh, discipline many times, what people don't understand, yes. will be the forerunner of passion. Yes. And unfortunately, most of the time, young people especially, mm. because they're very emotional and stuff, yes. we think that passion precedes discipline. Yes. And that is incorrect. That is incorrect. All right? Yes. Uh, can I take us to church? Yes. Yeah. Can go we ahead. go to flow. church? <laughs> flow, flow. So, yes. because Christians, most of the time, we're the ones who go, you know, I'm excited, I name it, I yeah, claim, I claim it, it, I'm going to I'm get there, it. this is me, I'm writing <laughs> it down, this is that. Yes. And that's all good, because yes. that's passion. You yes. see something, I love this thing, I want to do it. Yes. But the truth of the matter is, if you don't have a foundation of discipline, yes. then you're not going to achieve that thing. Yes. And so you must habituate your mind mm. to bring the passion after the discipline has been laid. Yes. When you're putting up a building, we like to see the building come up. But, but not foundation. many times do we like oh, the yes. foundation because oh, yes. you're going down. Mm. And discipline is a foundation. Yes. Like I said, let's go to church. Yes. Jesus tells his uh, disciples, yes. they're all hungry, ni, 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 we need to eat. And he's like, guys, I must go through Samaria. Yes. So, Nye and then Evie, KFC, yes. uh, me, I need to go through Samaria. Yes. And so the guy walks in a different direction. We know the story. Meets a yes. woman by the well, mm, yeah. tells her stuff, and then she says, let me go back to the village, and she mm. comes with a troop. Before she comes with this group, yes. the disciples come back, and they ask him, boss, we've brought food. Yes. And he says, boss, I have food you know nothing about. Yeah. Now, that's passion. Yes. I'm not even interested in eating anymore. <coughs> yeah. That's passion. That's passion. Passion will consume you to the level mm. where you lose an appetite for what is natural to man. Yes. Initially they were hungry yes. and Jesus used the word must. Yes. I probably do not want to. I'm yes. hungry. Yes. I'm tired. Yes. He literally went and sat by the well. He was so tired mm. and thirsty. I love the word he must. asked for water. Yes. But the word must is yes. a matter of discipline. Yes. So there are things that we must develop a discipline for. Yes. And as we do them, yes. when the rewards start coming, when Jesus saw all these guys coming as mm. a multitude, yes. he said, man, don't even give me the food. Yes. I got five thousand. I've got a whole village coming. Yes. I need to talk to these guys. Yes. Wow. And so my lesson is this, for all religious people, for all superstitious people, for all normal people who are neither, I will say this, it is important to cultivate a discipline yes. in yourself. You talked yes. about waking up at 3 a.m. to prepare for an 8 a.m., 9 a.m. class. Yes. That's discipline, that's yes. the grind. Yes. And without that, yes. the passion is useless. Yeah, the passion is useless. You'll stand in front of people blowing a lot of hot air and guys will be like, I didn't get in. I didn't get in. Yes. But when you've got the content, when you've yes. got the detail, when you've put in the, yes. the, the, the power of discipline into Very your important. craft, yes. then by the time I sit with you, yes. my passion is only an expression of my gift. Yes. That's very powerful. Okay. That's very powerful. So, I think that's something that I've been seeing. And even, even you know, discipline, the good thing with discipline yes. is that it multiplies across the board. You know, in your mm -hmm. life, if you look at your life, if yes. you're disciplined, mm -hmm. I was, uh, if you're disciplined in one thing, mm -hmm. you'll be disciplined in many other areas. Yes. This soldier was, you know, he was talking to his troop. Mm -hmm. Then he was telling them, when, when they get into the academy, mm. it tells them just a very simple thing. Spread your bed. <laughs> I remember that, that, you remember that, that story. That. Yeah. Yes. Spread your bed when you wake up. Mm. If you can spread your bed every morning, the same way, every day, every morning, then it will multiply yes. to other areas of your life. Yes. I think discipline is very powerful. Discipline is amazing. It's the mm. consummate uh, human being. A yes. person who can master himself is very yes. important. Mm. And we, we look at society today and a lot of people are making millions because they have achieved mastery of a specific field. Yes. And we look at the reward or the results that they have achieved. We look at a billionaire, millionaire, a highly influential person, yes. and we are attracted to that reward, but we forget that there's a discipline that they've put in. Yes. You see, the truth of the matter is this, the first servant to your dream yes, is you. Is you. 
the first servant to your vision is you. When you get to the level where the mm. sphere of influence that you desire or the dream that you have yes. has mastery over you, yes. then you're ready to start the journey to have mastery over it. Yes. If I want to have mastery over the subject of public speaking, I need to get to a level where the subject of public speaking has mastery over me. Yes. Let me explain. When we are doing business, yes. you start off, and I always use my entrepreneurial yes. uh, experience as an example. Yes. When you're starting off, guys say, you know, you'll master your own time, you're yeah. in charge of your own time, you're in charge of your own yeah. everything. And I got to a place where I realized I'm not in charge. You're not, <laughs> you can't be in <laughs> charge. As you grow, when you start yes. off, you sleep whatever time, you wake up whatever time, yes. but as you grow, what happened is yes. my business now became master over me. Yes. I couldn't wake up the time that I want because my business will tell me you need to be here by seven. Yes. I couldn't sleep the time that I want because yes. I have customers who are here yes. and my customers who is mm. my business will yes. tell me you need to sleep at 1 a.m. today. Yes. And unless I am willing to subordinate myself to my dream, yes. I will never attain mastery. It will just be like a dream. Yes. yes. It's a dream. It's something that we just yes. keep talking about. Yes. And so what I encourage people is we think that having maximum control is a sign of success. The truth of the matter is most successful people have minimal control over their lives. Yes. Talk to presidents, talk to They CEOs, don't even have a phone. They don't <laughs> have a phone. They, you can't book an appointment with a president yes. today afternoon, yes. no matter who you are. Yes. Even if you are his you uh, daughter or whoever, you're going to call somebody else who will tell you whether or not you can see the president. You'll be told you're sorry. Exactly. Yes. Because sometimes when you grow, yes. you will have to grow yourself to a level where yes. your dream is the one telling you what time to wake up, what time to sleep, yes. which books to read, which friends to keep, yes. who to take a selfie with, where you can go and mm. where you cannot go, what you can wear and what you cannot yes. wear. Your dream yes. obtains mastery over you. If you accept mm. to become a subordinate to your of dream, yes. then now you're ready to become a master of that. Wow. 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 That is one of the keys and secrets to success. Because wow. now you're ready for your dream to tell you, read this book, mm. do this course, talk to this person even if mm. you don't like them. Yes. Spend time in this place even if you are uncomfortable. And the must now comes in place. I yes. see it, you know, it, it now comes into place that you must. Yes. It actually dictates your appetite, your, exactly. <laughs> your time. Thank you. Everything. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> your dream now dictates your appetite. Yes. When you don't have mastery yes. over a certain sphere, yes. then your appetite dictates your dream. Yes. So people get to a place they look at, I want to be an entrepreneur. Oh, I just like it. Why? Because it's your appetite for the reward. Yes. Oh, I want to be a hotelier. Yes. Because it's your appetite for the reward. You're not willing to pay the price. You're not willing to pay the price. Yes. And that's why discipline must undergird success. Yes. Success is a house that is built on a foundation of discipline. And you see a lot a lot of a lot of my god that is so powerful a, a lot of a lot of gifts a lot of talents have been wasted yes just because of one thing yes discipline which is the foundation also of character yes. because you see um even as you as you go higher somebody said that the higher you go mm. the, the less people are there yes so as you go higher even 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 your social life you are you are your dress code, your everything about you. It, it is not in your control. It is not in your control. We're talking about your dream determining your discipline. I love what you've said. Yes. I'll give you an example. A while back, yes. President Uhuru Kenyatta was at a function and the Chief Justice, then David yes. Maraga, yes. also appeared at the function. Yes. It was a crisis. Because wow. they said the Chief Justice, the yes. President of the Supreme Court, yes. cannot be seen together with the President of the Republic. Yes. You get to a place where even the people you are seen with yes. are not in your control. Are not in your control. That is now success. Yeah. That where is, you, yeah. you have to say, who is this that I am with? Yes. Now, that is at constitutional level. Mm. Bring it down to your own level. Yes. When your dream tells you go north, there are people that you cannot be seen with because they go south. Yes. And they will datify or adulterate the integrity of your dream. And you see, you see, um, God is very, let me now also go to the Bible. Yeah, yeah let's go to church. God is very categorical <laughs> yes. and is very categorical mm. about who you hang out with. You know, yes. uh, the, the Bible says that bad company corrupts good manners. Yes. You see, so, and bad company here not only includes people. Yes. What are you watching? Yes. You know, which movies are you watching? Yes. Um, how much time are you spending, you know, just idling around? Mm. You know, mm. uh, gossiping about yes. uh, people's status, you know. Yes. 
yes. trying to trying to impress, trying to make a statement about who you are supposed to be to the public, mm -hmm. but who you are not yes. in reality. Yes. So you see, there's a lot of a lot of that happening around, mm -hmm. and that's why even God says that you are a city. Mm -hmm. For a long time, I wondered why does God why, why would God call me a city? Yes. I discovered that you yourself, when you master your dream, you yes. become an institution. Oh yes. I love that. Say that again. <laughs> when you master your dream, yes. you yourself, you become an institution. Yes. And an, an, an institution cannot just say, I don't feel like, mm. I don't feel like. Yes. You can't go to school the, one the, day and then they, the teachers didn't feel like coming. They're guided by the must. Yes. Because mm. they understand that they're in a sphere of influence. Yes. And they're an institution. Yes. So when you get to that place where you are now a city set on a hill, that yes. cannot be hidden. Yes. When you just build, you know, for a long time also I wondered, why did, uh, why did uh, John the Baptist, is it John the Baptist? Why didn't he have a marketing team when he came, when he, when he, when he, when he, when he came on the scene, when he, when he came to the earth, yes. when he was born, yes. so to say? He went to the desert and the city followed him there. Yes. He didn't do marketing, he didn't, he didn't do anything uh, you know, to announce, he didn't do any billboards mm. because he understood his dream. And that gave him influence. Mm. So when you understand your dream, people mm. will come looking for you. Mm. I was hearing the story of a musician that he said, you know, he has CDs. He's very good, you know, yes. with his craft, and he has mastered his craft. So he, he walked into this place and he was singing and he was being interviewed. So they told him, so uh, the way you sell CDs, it, it looks like you've made so much, you've made so much money in, in CDs. Yes. I mean, you've made so much money in, you know, selling yes. CDs. Yes. He said, no, it will shock you. I make so much money by the invitations I get more than the CVs. Mm. Because for one invitation, you have to pay him over half a million. Yes. Yeah. So one you can in. give out the CDs for free. For free, yeah. 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 yeah.